Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please make sure to push that subscribe button. Today I have a special guest. His name is actually Sir Nelson. Here he is. He's actually my son, guys. His name is Nelson, and uh, we're gonna be talking about five things that I hate about Nelson. I just wanna let you guys know that if you guys want a shout out at the end of my video, please make sure to turn on the post notification bell to get a shout out, guys. That's simple as that. Just turn on that post notification and be the first to comment, and then we'll see you in my next video. So today, like I said, five things that I absolutely hate. These are just my opinions. You guys might love these things about it. I don't know. I'm just, this is my opinion. We'll start with the number one thing that I absolutely hate, and that is, the door handle. So guys, the door handle, I don't know why. I heard this is a very common problem with 350Zs though. After a while, for some reason, the handle does not want to open. So like, let me go ahead and show you guys. And this is what I hate because every time I have someone in my car, I have to open the door for them. So look, I'm gonna unlock the car. Unlock. So it's open. But I cannot open it. If you go to this side, come. Guys, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. My at is right here. Diviana Emma, go ahead. So look. Ta -da! This one opened right away. So now, so now this is what I have to do all the time. Excuse my messy car, but this is what I have to do in order to have someone sit in the passenger seat with me. Yeah, so I actually have to go ahead and fix that, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done it. But um, clearly I haven't done it. Yeah, so that's one of the things that I absolutely hate about it, that you know the freaking door does not want to open. I have to go ahead and open it all the freaking time, and it's it's a hassle because look at me, I'm like right here, and then to reach over, it's like I can't even reach. I have to like literally go bend over and like try to open it for them. It's so it's such a Hassle. Don't get me wrong guys. I actually love Nelson. Okay. He's actually my favorite car I freaking love him. There's more love than hate, but these are just a few things that I don't like about him But you know, it's, it's cool. There's more love than hate. Yeah So I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want you to think that I hate Nelson I freaking love him on to the second thing guys the second thing that I absolutely hate about Nelson little Nelson over there in the back I'm sorry Nelson is that he wastes a lot of oil. Okay. He drinks a lot of energy drinks. Okay. He needs a lot so I actually have to I check him every week. They say you have to check him every 300 miles, but I check him every week because I be doing some dumb stuff like look at the floor. <laughs> Things like donuts and trying to slide and drift, those take up a lot of oil as well. Other than me doing this dumb stuff, or like, not dumb stuff, but you know what I mean, like, other than that, it does involve a lot of oil. So this is one of the cars that actually take up a lot of oil, so that's one of the things that I hate. You gotta always stay on top of it, and if you don't, then he'll freaking blow up, and you don't want that. So you guys gotta be on top of the oil, because this one, like I said, drinks so much oil, guys. On to the third thing, guys. The third thing about, <laughs> the third thing is how small Nelson is. So I know that he's designed to be like a race car, right? It's designed to be a race car. The only thing I hate about it is that since I daily it all the time, it's so small and I have like, just even my purse. Sorry, I heard someone yell over in the back. <laughs> if I were to have like my purse, or if I were to have someone in my passenger seat and they have like bags with them, like they go to the grocery store, good luck. Especially since I have my tools in there, there's not a lot of room. Like, uh, excuse that train in the back. He just always wants to freaking, always wants to get attention over there. Freaking Carol. I named that train Carol over there. That's just a little thing that bothers, well not a little thing, it actually bothers me a lot how I have no room for anything. But other than that, I do love my car. I just, I can't stress that enough, but it just suck, you know? There's not a lot of space, especially since I'm a girl, I'd be having my freaking shoes or anything. There's a lot of stuff that we carry when we go shopping and anything, so yeah. Fourth thing that I hate about Nelson is that his seats and interior are freaking ugly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, this is kind of my fault, kind of, not really. I mean, I can easily change that up, but this is just how I got the car, so. It's the color. The color of my interior is freaking ugly. I don't like it. I, I hate it. I actually want it all black. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, let me show you. Look at this. This is, oh wait, I don't even think, is this 10? This looks kind of like a gray. I don't even know what he would call this color, but this is actually how I got it. If you guys didn't know, Nelson was actually owned by someone in South Carolina, okay? And this is how I got the car. Look, the seats are freaking torn up. This color is just so ugly. Or maybe if it was like new, then I would like it, you know, cause it's like nice. 
but it's so freaking ugly. I want to do it all black. I actually do have some new seats for it, but guys, I'm missing a few things for my seats, so I haven't installed them yet. When it's freaking hot over here in Cali, my freaking arms freaking burn, or my back, because I wear a lot of crop tops and stuff. I sit on it, and I freaking get burned. It's like I, I don't know, but it sucks. It's like I just freaking sat on the oven, okay? So that's something that I hate about it, the freaking interior. So, sooner in the future, guys, trust me, I will be changing it up, because you guys know that I hate it, so I gotta change it up. Now, on to the fifth thing guys the fifth thing that i hate about my little nelson is you guys won't believe it but this is how i got him come out come out is the freaking you guessed it the trunk the trunk for some reason excuse the mess in there i know i have a bunch of stuff what i hate about it is how i have to freaking hold it up with my hands so put that i need to grab anything from the trunk i always have to hold it up because i guess this thing here does not work it has no pressure i don't know what i need some little sticks to fix this up but this is something that i really hate about now because whatever Whenever I have to get anything from the back, I have to struggle to do that. It's just such a struggle because it weighs like freaking 50 pounds or more. I don't know how many, how much it weighs, but it weighs so much. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it weighs a lot. So imagine for me, my scrawny arms, like, look at this. You really think that's gonna, this can open up that trunk all the time? No, it can't. Okay, so funny story. I actually put um like a piece of wood to hold it up because I was trying to get stuff from my trunk. And guess what happened, guys? The wood broke. So literally, it scared the shit out of me. It scared me because, <laughs> it scared me because I was freaking working on the car over here. I was over here, actually. I was working on it right here. And I had the wood right here, like having it stand up. And I swear the trunk just freaking, and I was like, what the fuck? And it scared me. It was. It was horrible. So like that's how strong it is that it freaking broke a piece of wood. Those are pretty much five things that I hate about my 350Z. If you guys want to see maybe five things that I love about my 350Z, then make sure to comment down below. It was fun doing this video with you guys. I want to give a post notification shout out to Julio Reyes. Thank you so much for turning our post notification bell and being the first to comment. Anyways guys, let's go on and head on home. I'm going to try to do some donuts for you guys so you guys can eat. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of peace.